Welcome to the Bass Pro Shops Cup Series, Season 3, Round 2, here at Boston. Starting on the pole today is Matthew McMurray, and second is Justin Perry. Now here's the rest of your lineup. Gino Harvey, Zach Buchanan, Bill Raymond, Chris Summers, Brendan Cargo, Courtney Simpson, Cole Fralick, Randy Carpenter, Seth Cole, Timmy Pacioli, Andrew Schwartz, Connor Breton, Ziggy Bain, Hunter Stone, Trenton Jump, Christopher Blake, Colin Cropley, Greg Brown, Phil Jones, Julian Ortiz, Jake Baskinger, Garrett Jones, Mitch Speed, Kenny Murray, Joseph Bryant, Danny Wells, Evan Earnhardt, Sean Galligan, Greg Jones, Kurt Kozlowski, Josh Courier, Christian Janes, John Dillon, CJ Sorensen, Wes McCall, Justin Neus, Ryan Acosta, Stephen Dillon, Jake Rogers, and Sean Henley. <coughs> Alright, the cars are getting fired up here, and they will start to roll off at this just over a mile racetrack. Should be a great race today here in Boston, the Sunoco 500. There's Matthew McMurray. This is his second career start, and he starts on the pole for it. Let's see if he can pull off his first win. The pace car dives onto pit road, and we are green at Boston. Matthew McMurray with a great start, and Justin Perry got a really good start as well. But it looks like Matthew McMurray is going to have the preferred line here, and Matthew McMurray will lead him by a, no, not even half a car length. Gino Harvey starting to close on Matthew McMurray. But it's not going to be enough as Matthew McMurray leads lap one here at Boston. Lap one of 50 is complete. And uh-oh, they're starting to get three wide further back. Oh, man. Oh, no, there they go. The first car around, Brendan Cargo. Oh, no, in front of the pack. Chris Summers, Courtney Simpson, Connor Breton. Oh, no. A big mess. Matthew McMurray won the race back to the line, and let's get a replay of what just happened. Here's what happened to bring out the first caution of the day here on lap two. Brendan Cargo came up off the corner and just cut off Cole Freilich. Goes sliding down, and Freilich, I believe, wait, oh, Freilich is the one that caused the main part of the crash, actually. And then it uh, looks like Brendan Cargo slid up into Courtney Simpson and Trenton Jump. But let's see what happened here with Cole Freilich. All right, here's what happened to Cole Freilich. So he turns Brendan Cargo. But look at this. He slides right back up into Seth Cole and Andrew Schwartz. They all hit the wall. Zach Buchanan, Hunter Stone, just a bunch of drivers are Christopher Blake, Evan Earnhardt. They got into each other there. I think they were okay. Oh, Evan retaliates there. Oh, yeah. We forgot to make a note of this early in the race. Uh, let's see, where is he? I don't think he was involved in this. Oh, Garrett Jones, Christian Janes. Nowhere to go for them. But look at this. Jake Baskinger. Well, he said NASCAR didn't penalize them, but then after looking at looking at it further, he still won the race, but he has been docked 15 points for his um, run-in with Andrew Schwartz on the last lap, or coming to the last lap at Daytona. So let's get back to the restart. We got two more corners until the recess, so here's how they will look when we take the green flag. Restarting on point is Matthew McMurray, then Bill Raymond, Gino Harvey, Justin Perry, Cole Freilich, your top five, Colin Cropley, Phil Jones, Ziggy Bain, Jake Baskinger, and Mitch Speed. Got two cars on the inside there that are a lap down, being Chris Summers and Christian James Cole Freilich, who kind of caused the big wreck. Restarts fifth, green flag back in the air, Matthew McMurray leads him down, and Summers did not get going, and it's going to cause Christian James a bunch of time. Well, we pretty much knew they weren't being going to be in contention. So, um, down into turn three. Looks like Matthew McMurray is going to lead all of the, uh, or well, all of the laps up to this point. I don't think it's going to last much longer. And, oh, wow, look at this. Three wide. Gino Harvey, your point leader. 
Now Bill Raymond up the track. Down into turn number three, Matthew McMurray leads over Gino Harvey by a about half a car length as Matthew McMurray leads out of turn number four. Gino Harvey makes the dive to the inside. Gino Harvey goes to the lead here at Boston. He, he kind of came out of nowhere, really. Oh, no, look out. Oh, wow. He made it three wide, almost four, and they almost wrecked each other there. Justin Perry slides up the track. Look out, Bill Raymond. And, oh, yeah, we better keep an eye on these guys back here, Bill Raymond. He's putting himself in some bad situations. He's right next to Cole Frey, like he caused a huge wreck. Oh, man. Oh, no, there they go. Bill Raymond is around. And, oh, Phil Jones into Perry. They save it. I don't think Phil did. Yeah, Phil Jones, I believe, wrecked. Oh, no, Jake Rogers, Kurt Kozlowski. Christian Janes, Chris Sars, oh, Connor Breton, Phil Jones. Oh, man, a tough break for all those guys, so let's see what happened. Here's what happened to bring out the second caution of the day. Bill Raymond, I don't know what he was doing. Oh, Cole Freilich, are you kidding me? Yet again, Freilich has caused a huge wreck. Right there, Bill Raymond gets turned, then the front end of Bill Raymond comes back around. And turns Phil Jones, he hit uh, somebody up there. Uh, oh, yeah, Justin Perry. And then further back, there's Christian Janes. Oh, Zach Buchanan, Kurt Kozlowski, nowhere to go. And then Jake Rogers completely clobbered Kurt. And then, oh, what happened to Chris? Oh, oh, that is a huge, oh, man. Your champion from last season, Chris Summers. Oh, Josh Gwynn. Oh, man. Tough, tough break for all these drivers involved. Hunter Stone, Jake Rogers, Zach Buchanan, Danny Wells slightly involved. Kurt Kozlowski involved. Phil Jones is done. A lot of drivers with just heartbreak here today. So let's get back to the restart. We have about oh, half a lap until we take the restart, here's how they will look. Mitch Spieler is set on point, then Joseph Bryant, Matthew McMurray, Cole Freilich, and Gino Harvey, and Ziggy Bain, Colin Cropley, Christopher Blake, John Dillon, and Wes McCall. We got going a little bit early because NASCAR is starting to look over C Cole Freilich. You know, he he's caused both wrecks today, and though they've both been very big wrecks, and, you know, I don't know. Whoa, the pace car made a really late turn to pit road. Might have forgot that they had to go in that time. Green flag back in the air. Mitch Speed leads him back down to the green flag with Joseph Bryant second. Mitch Speed leads into turn one and Cole Freilich. Or no, sorry, that's Matthew McMurray. Matthew McMurray right on the rear bumper of Bryant. Now he's going to look inside. I think Matthew McMurray is successfully going to make the pass for second. Yes, he will. Matthew McMurray to second as Gino Harvey's going to get to third. Gino Harvey's really going to have a big point lead exiting this race if he can win because he actually won when it came to the most amount of points last week. He just didn't win the race because Baskinger did, but then NASCAR penalized him 15 points for causing that massive crash because uh, pretty much in everybody's eyes it looked intentional. Uh-oh, look at this. Matthew McMurray is stuck on the outside with a three-wide battle. Colin Cropley and John Dillon are in it. And down the back stretch, look out, two drivers are kind of up in the front here that have been a little bit dangerous lately. <laughs> Jake Baskinger and uh, uh, Cole Freilich. So Freilich and Baskinger are both our pro are both on probation. Well. It's not official that Cole Freilich is, but I'm pretty sure NASCAR will do something about that because it's been unnecessary to crash so many cars that are just innocent bystanders. And John Dillon running second, side by side, as it looks like the 91 of Baskinger, race one's winner. He's coming to the inside for second, and Sean Henley is shoving him into there. Jake Baskinger goes to second. The top two finished first and second last week, just not in the same order.
And Sean Henley gets up to second. I was going to go for the lead on Harvey. He's not able to. And oh, look out. That's getting a little bit close there. John Dillon almost turned Jake Baskinger. They look like they're starting the race right now. They're pretty much double file all the way back. And Justin Perry struggling, Courtney Simpson struggling, Rodney Carpenter struggling, Bill Raymond, Kurt Kozlowski, Danny Wells. But up front, it is still Gino Harvey leading, and there's Greg Brown. He's starting to close. He kind of came out of nowhere here. He could win this. He would win two of the last three races because he won the season finale last season. And now there he goes to the inside. But Ryan Acosta. Uh-oh. Justin Mewis, don't do it. Look, oh, that was very close. Ryan Acosta almost got turned by Justin Mewis. And they're three wide. They're going to get evened out here out of four, I hope. Otherwise, that could have gotten bad, but it didn't. So Off into one. Everybody's still keeping it clean right now. Here comes Greg Jones. Three wide for the lead. There's still three wide. Evan Earnhardt, is he going to get in there and make it four wide? Harvey slides up the track, and it's going to allow Greg Jones to get out to the lead. Uh-oh. Greg Brown is in a very bad position right here. There he goes. He's leaning on Ryan Acosta. Uh-oh, they're going to be four wide further up. They got it even out. Steven Dillon contact. That was very close there. With uh, CJ and... Stephen Dillon. They almost wrecked each other. But up front, it's Greg Jones leading, and Evan Earnhardt makes the move to the inside. It's probably a good call. And oh no, it wasn't. Danny Wells slows down Evan Earnhardt. And oh no, the leaders! All the leaders are around a lapped car. Danny Wells. Oh no. Uh, we said all the leaders, but actually only the leader wrecked. We thought it was going to be worse. Oh no. The lapped car took out Greg Jones, your leader. Evan Earnhardt easily wins the race back to the line. We have an idea on what happened, but let's get a slow motion replay. Here is what happened to bring out the third caution of the day. Greg Jones just got flat out turned there by Danny Wells. And then he slides on through. The grass there, Danny Wells, Greg Jones, two teammates. That was uh, not a smart move on Danny Wells' part. I have a feeling Rush Fenway Racing is going to have a talk there with Danny Wells because he just basically took out any shot at a Rush Fenway car winning this race because Courtney Simpson is way in the back. Uh, Justin Perry is way in the back. So, um, yeah, let's get back to the restart. We are back for the restart. Here's how they will look when we take the green flag. Restarting on point is Evan Earnhardt, then Stephen Dillon, Wes McCall, Justin Mewis, and CJ Sorens in your top five, then Kenny Murray, Greg Brown, Christopher Blake, Ziggy Bain, and Timmy Paccioli, your top ten. And we head back up to the front of the pack where Evan Earnhardt will lead them back down to the green flag. I think he led a few laps at Daytona, so... I don't think these are going to be his first lap sled. Danny Wells is a lap down, so quite a few drivers could be on probation after this race if Danny Wells is going to be on probation as well. Green flag in the air. Evan Earnhardt gets a huge jump. He's got about two or three car lengths of lead already over Steven Dillon. Evan is flying up there. All the top four have broken away. Oh, Danny Wells, what are you doing? Danny Wells has slowed down the entire pack behind him, and now he's falling back. He really should have gotten out of the way because now he could very well take out Ryan Acosta, another teammate of his. Uh-oh, Joseph Bryan. Oh, man. Danny Wells, look out. Oh, that was close there. Oh, man, he almost turned to Galligan. And Cropley starting to close. And Courtney Simpson runs into Cropley. They somehow kept it together. But uh, Courtney Simpson just randomly turned hard right there and just slammed into him. I don't know exact. I don't exactly know what she was doing there. Wes McCall still up front. Justin Mewis 
or actually he's not still up front, he just took the lead. And now Justin Mewis goes to the inside. Mewis goes to the lead, possibly, and it's still going to be a drag race. For third now, Evan Earnhardt has fallen back. He was leading not too long ago, and now Stephen Dillon's going to pass him there. And Justin Mewis, he is still leading this race. Wes McCall side by side with Steve Dillon now for second. Steven Dillon is flying up through the pack right now. And down the back straight away. Evan Earnhardt is shoving Steven Dillon down into the corner really hard. And out of turn four, everybody's still keeping it together. So let's check in on some other drivers here. Start with Gino Harvey, your point leader. There he, he is. Oh, wow. We should probably keep an eye on these drivers back here. We'll keep cameras focused on the point leader right now because we're starting to race kind of aggressive. But now we're going to have to go further back to get more action now. And let's see. Joseph Bryant leads right now. Or not. He does not lead right now. He leads this uh, group of cars because there's one group of cars and there's about two or three car links and then he there's kind of that second pack. Now yeah, they're starting to come merge in together here to make one major pack. Uh oh. Matthew McMurray. He is right there with CJ Sorensen and he was three wide on the front stretch, almost turned him. Down onto the back stretch. Steven Dillon, where what? He's all the way down to maybe around twelfth. He came across the line in 10th, but he's still following a lot of positions further back. What has happened to Stephen Dillon? 16th for him that time. And yeah, Justin Mewis leads in Cole Freilich and Jake Baskinger. They go to second and third. Those two have uh, kind of been... Um, uh, let's just say they've wrecked a lot of drivers <laughs> in the first few races. Oh, no, there's a wreck. I did not see who it was. I think it was a yellow car. I don't know. I know it's not Mitch Speed or uh, Jake Baskinger because they are still running in the front. Justin Mewis is going to win the race back to the line. Oh, man, it looks like there's a lot of spinning cars involved in the crash. So let's see what happened. Well, we were just watching Stephen Dillon and how he's been fading. He was the car around. He said a yellow car went around, and it sure enough, it was Stephen Dillon. Slams the outside wall extremely hard. Nowhere for Sean Henley or Kenny Murray to go. Kenny Murray finished 40th in the first race. And this is definitely going to hurt him in points again. It's very early to talk about points right now because they're really not all that important right now. But uh, two terrible finishes for Kenny Murray to start out the season. Hopefully it doesn't get much worse. And we'll restart with maybe about seven laps to go. So it should be a pretty good uh, short little dash to the finish. So let's get back to the restart. We are about half a lap away from taking the green flag. So let's see how they will look when they restart. Restarting on points is going to be Justin Mewis, then John Dillon, Julian Ortiz, uh, Jake Baskinger, Sean Gallagher in your top five, then Mitch Speed, Matthew McMurray, Timmy Pacioli, Joseph Bryant, and Greg Brown in your top ten. And back to the front, Justin Mewis is going to lead them down with seven laps to go. Should be a great dash to the finish, and hopefully we can stay green and not end it under caution like we had to do the first race. Green flag in the air. And we're racing again. John Dillon got a pretty good restart. I don't think it was enough to be able to pass the leader of uh, Justin Mewis. Never mind. There he goes. John Dillon to the inside of Justin Mewis. Can he pull it off into three? Yes, he can. John Dillon goes to the lead and Julian Ortiz. He's closing in into second now. And now he's going to go for the lead with big help from good friend Sean Galligan. And uh-oh, are they going to be three wide for the lead? Oh, that got close. A caution right now might get us at a one-lap shootout, but I don't exactly... I don't know. Leading the race still is Julian Ortiz, but here comes Galligan. Sean Galligan goes to the inside in the 24. He's got a lot of help from Matthew McMurray, but now Matthew 
makes the move on him, and Pacioli is going to shove Matthew McMurray. Matthew McMurray, your leader now. They will take four to go this time around. Four laps of racing to go from Boston. Into turn one, Pacioli makes the move. Pacioli goes to the lead. Now Greg Brown, it's his time to make the move for the lead. Will he do it? Well, he's got the line that he needs, but Crop, or not Cropley, Timmy Pacioli cut him off there. Cropley, uh, we were talking about him there. I was watching him back here because he was starting to get into some a uh, little bit uh, bad areas to be racing right there because he was about three wide at times for back there. Timmy Pacioli is going to lead them down to two laps to go. Cole Freilich is closing in second, and he could very well be on probation after this race after causing two very large crashes. As Gino Harvey, where did he come from? He has come back to the front, and Gino Harvey, he could win the most amount of points for two races in a row. Look at that. He peeks his nose in there just enough where Pacioli had to slide up white flag for Gino Harvey can he pull it off into one Cropley needs to make his move now if he is going to make it there he goes to the inside CJ Sorensen he might make it three wide I don't think he'll be able to Cropley drives it in hard Cropley goes to the lead enough and, no and nobody's going to be able to do anything about it out of four Cropley wins his first Bass Pro Shops Cup Series race at Boston very good job today for Colin Cropley, and I don't even know if he led any laps until the last one. So great job by Colin Cropley. So let's get to your results. Here are the results for today's race at Boston. Winning the race is Colin Cropley in second, CJ Sorensen third, Justin Perry fourth, Gino Harvey fifth, Evan Earnhardt. Gino Harvey led him to the white flag, but he kind of fell off there on the last lap. He faded to fourth. First car lap down was Stephen Dillon. He took 26th. The top 25 were um, on the lead lap when they finished up this race. But Christopher Blake was much further back than Randy Carpenter, who finished 24th. And looking on through, Brendan Cargo, Seth Cole, Garrett Jones, they all had tough breaks today. Andrew Schwartz, um, he finished 20 or 38th. Jake Rogers, 32nd. He was involved in the first big crash, I think. And, uh, yep, Kenny Murray. He finished 40th in the first race, now 29th in the second. He has had two DNFs in two races. Not a good way to start out his season for the nine team. So, it was an intense race today from Boston. And I'm glad you were with us for it. But it's time to wrap it up. Let's get the burnout for Mr. Cropley and then close it out with the celebration screen. Congratulations to Colin Cropley on his first win in the Bass Pro Shops Cup Series.